Right, I've got this picture. It's a lighthouse. It's down on Plymouth Hoe, and it's just a nice picture of a lighthouse on Plymouth Hoe. And then I came up with the idea. I thought, how about changing it from a lighthouse on Plymouth Hoe into a kaleidoscope style effect? And that's exactly what we're going to have a look at doing now. Now, the first thing we need to do is to make a crop. And the sort of crop, if I just click on this that we're going to make, is coming up, looking at the menu bar, you'll notice you've got no restrictions. Coming down, you've got the 16 by 9 right the way through. 5 by 5 is about as close as we're going to get. We've got uh, 8 by 10 there. Now, if you've got inches, it, this does depend on the way that you've set up the preferences in elements. So you might have centimeters, millimeters, pixels, whatever. I've actually selected inches here, and that's why it's showing inches. So coming over, I'm going to click in the width here, and I'm actually going to put in 8. I'm going to come to the height. You'll notice it's put in inches for me there as well. I'm going to put in 8 coming onto the picture and I'm going to click down and I'm going to drag it over something like this would be pretty good. Right, you'll notice the way the cursor changes with the black arrow head I can just realign this to the center. Now if I come down to the bottom corner with that arrow head it's now the bent arrow so I can begin to swing this around into that sort of area like this would be pretty good and if I come up clicking on this dragging it in and what we're going to do is place the weather vane so it's in the top sort of part of the image like this. Let's just drop it down a little bit more and just lift that up like that should be pretty good. What do you reckon? Yep, right. Double clicking, clicking on the green tick will apply the crop. Through it goes. Right, come into the layers panel. Looking at the layers panel, there's our background layer. Using command J, control J, we will duplicate the background layer. Come into layer one. We're going to come up to Image, we're going to go to Rotate, and we're going to drop down to Flip Layer Horizontally. So we're going to go to Flip Layer Horizontally, which is now Flip This Layer Horizontally. Okay, for the next stage, we're going to pick up the Move Tool. Now with the Move Tool selected, we're going to click down, we're going to drag it out like this. Now as you start to drag it out, Press and hold down the Shift key. The reason for this is if you don't hold down Shift, you can move it up and down. But if you press down Shift, you notice it just keeps it rigid. We can then pull this out over the edge of the picture. Something like that would be pretty good. But it's disappeared. Picking up the Crop tool, the first thing we need to do is just remove the preferences we put in there. So I've just swiped across in the width. That's got rid of those. If I now come in, we're going to click over the image here. There it goes. And it's this part of the crop tool we're looking at where it's aligned for the center. I'm going to click down. We're going to drag it out. And I'm just keeping an eye where that aligned for the center is. I think I need to zoom out a little bit further. So I'm calling it a hunch, but out we go. Right, something like this. If I just click down, drag it out, and there it is. It's aligned over that area there. Click into apply, and it pops. Right, let's take a look. That looks pretty good like that. You see a little bit of a gap. I'm just going to press. V on the keyboard to bring up my move tool and I'm going to use the right hand arrow key just to nudge it over one and there it is it's now joined up nicely just what we're after. For the next stage we're going to put in a new empty layer so I'm going to drop down clicking on the new layer icon and it goes layer 2 holding down the alt or the option key so hold down alt or option go to layer dropping down to merge visible so we've now merged these two layers into this new layer here our layer 2 we're now going to go to image rotate and we're going to drop down to flip layer vertically now that's important again flip layer vertically don't be tempted to go to these two here it's flip layer vertically that's done a nice job on this coming down to the bottom once again don't forget I've already got the move tool so I'm just going to press down and hold down shift on the keyboard holding down shift whoops taking it just off the top of the image like that there it is back it comes and in it goes right using command 0 control 0 to go to fit on screen let's pick up our crop tool going to run the crop tool over the picture like this coming down we need to reverse out a little bit so reversing out a bit and just keeping an eye for that center one lifting it up like this over the edge notice where it snaps in double click in there it is. Let's zoom in. Let's take a look. See how that's looking like this. A little bit of a gap as we had before. Not going to worry. Just going to press V on the keyboard for my move tool. And just using the down arrow just to nudge it down once. And there it is. So that's now all perfectly aligned. Looking pretty good so far. Using Command 0, Control 0 to go out to fit on screen. Right, in the next part of the video, which is going to be on my website, we're going to be taking this a stage further.